Okay guys, something else to have a look at. Now this has been in, we sold out originally, so I wasn't able to show you a lot of this. This is from Das Work. This is a 172nd scale World War I U-boat. Um, it is uh, full hull, as I'll show you in here. Uh, this is actually done by Das Work, so it's something new from them. They haven't done ships before. But this is the U9. One piece hull, so you don't have to fiddle around trying to line things up. Mostly because, obviously World War One U-boats were very almost plated, so they've actually carried done that really well on this. This has got uh, the plating and everything else is really, really nice. So um, you'd be able to really go to town washing this and putting detail on it and everything else. So you can see all the all the plate here that looks really cool. Uh, torpedo tube front end, all that sort of stuff. So, all this nice little detail, all this sort of detail. So that's really, really well done. Uh, what else have we got? So obviously being a U-boat, there's very little interior, but it's the exterior. This is all, this is, oh, this is well done. This is the canvas um, area around the top. So you can either have it that version or that version. So, and it's all, it's not just flat sided. It's actually got, um, indentations in it and everything else so that it looks like that so you paint it up that well that'll look good uh, looks like part of the drive maybe um, part of the conning tower so there's that what else we got oh this is all exterior parts again looks like parts for the conning tower parts for the uh, blocks rails is that rails could be railing that looks pretty cool this is the deck. This is really well done. There's a whole lot of detail on this. Looks like an area that you can even have that you can fit torpedoes in and things like that. Have a look at the detail on that. That is just so well done. It's nicely done. It's all part of the deck again. This is all part of the conning tower. You get a stand to put her on, so that's pretty cool. Propellers, propellers are just done in plastic, rudders. Um, not sure what that is. Must be part of whatever goes in there, the part of the torpedo loading section or something rather. So that's all pretty cool. As I said, I'm not up with World War I U-boat, so I don't know exactly what everything is, but that looks really, really nice. Deckle sheet. There's not much you can do. There's actually uh, four choices of U-boats on there. U9 being the box art one, but there's 12, 11, 9 and 10. So that's pretty cool. Instruction book. If I can get it out. There you go. Now, same sort of, if you've known any of the dash work kits, it's the same principle. Just nicely done. Even now they don't tell you what that is. But anyway, um, so that's pretty cool. Very straightforward. <laughs> That's all right. That's all the uh, railings and stuff. So these, as I said, you get a choice. You can either do it with canvas or without canvas. That's all just the people who did it. Uh, looks like the base. That's the basic colour scheme, and then you just pick the number you want to do it. So it looks like it's all the same colour schemes. So you just pick the type and the number that you want to put on it. So there you go. The other big thing about this thing is, and this happened only in the in a, a few kits, is. If I can get it out. It's a book. A very big book. Quite a thick book. This is all on the U-Type series. I think it's in two languages, so you go, it's sort of like uh, full English and German text. So there you go. It's got back background history, technology, crew, and kit. So there you go. So that's a nice little add-on to the, to, the, uh, to the kit. Um, as I said, the detail on this is good. We have had this in before, but we hadn't had a chance to show you because it just sold out so quickly. So uh, if you're looking for a, another U-boat, especially if you've got the World War II U-boats and things like that, this will be a very, very nice companion to that series. Um, there, are, there is supposedly a dock coming out for it, and there's also some figures coming out for it. So uh, hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to show you them as well. So. 
Um, probably another three, four weeks away, we'll probably have the figures. I'm not sure about the dock. I'm still trying to find out about that one. So other than that, that is a very, very nice kit. If you're looking for something uh, in this style, then there you go. So again, have a great day. Talk to you soon. We'll have to see what else we've got to can show you. Take care, see ya.